In his show Going Deep, comedian TV host David Rees takes a really funny look at some things that seem easy to do. The season premiere of Going Deep with David Rees coming up next month, really just a few weeks away. Eh? November 11th, 11-11. Right. <laughs> David's here, and uh, I, I didn't know there was so much that I didn't know. That is that's profound, huh? That is really heavy, yeah. That's amazing. You can that on your You're like screen. Aristotle. I mean, that, that really is the spirit of the show. Mm -hmm. It's a how to show about the things you think you know how to do. We talk to scientists and experts about the best way to bounce a ball, take a nap, and really it's a celebration of the everyday, you know? And the, and the spirit of the show is that if you really take a close look at just about anything, you don't know where you're going to wind up. So each episode you focus on, on one topic. The one I saw was um, how to pet a dog. And how you, to pet a dog. And you're yeah. afraid of dogs because you were... I've had some bad experiences yeah. with dogs in my life. A Rottweiler. Uh, a, yeah, a kind of dog that I had a late night encounter with on a sidewalk in Boston when I was in my 20s, uh, which is when I was in the full bloom of youth. I should have been really brave, but instead I wound up on the sidewalk. And ever since then I was kind of afraid of dogs. But over the course of the episode and talking to dog experts and... Uh, and pr practicing on both bunny rabbits and a paper mache dog that I built named Dingo D. Dogglesworth, I was able to uh, develop the skill set to encounter a dog and minimize the chances of me collapsing in a puddle of fear. So what is, what did you learn? What's the right way to pet a dog? Well, there's a couple of steps. First of all, if possible, just avoid all dogs. But if you can't do that, um, you should ask the owner's permission okay. or the companion's permission. I and learned. I've always heard that you go like that. Let the yeah, dogs... but you don't want to be, you want to let the dog investigate you. You kind of, it's interesting. Oh, they do too. Yeah, they, they do. They go right for certain parts that they like to investigate. Well, there are certain, there are certain <laughs> precious areas of the human body that dogs have un unhealthy interests in. <laughs> we can say that. But overall, I think the, the point of it is, I used to think that petting a dog, when you met a dog, was like shaking someone's hand. Like, it's the polite thing to do. You should right. approach the dog and stick your hand right under its muzzle. But really, you, no. have to let, you have to let the dog, it's up to the dog as to how the encounter is going to go. Oh, the dog's go. in charge. The dog is in charge. Let's take a look at a clip, okay. and we'll see what David's talking about. One thing that you need to do is remember to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> that dog is really locking eyes with me. You ready? Arm. <laughs> so the first time Hugo attacked me, it felt kind of euphoric. It was like being on a roller coaster made out of teeth. And looking back on it, I should have stopped after that first attack, but no, I wanted to do it a second time. And that second attack was actually not fun. That's an extreme example of doing things on a dog's terms. Yeah. Most dog encounters should not go that way. Uh, but the point is, follow the dog's lead. If the dog has no interest in you, don't take it personally. It's just a dog, right? <laughs> okay, so you said you're going to talk about petting dogs. There's rabbits involved, take, taking a nap, how to make toast. Where do these ideas come from? Well, we have, in the pre-production phase, we come up with ideas for episodes. And we know that we have a good episode if when you hear the episode title, how to take a nap or how to do the dishes, you think there's nothing I could learn about that. Right. Right? It's like I mentioned. And so the spirit of the show is that spirit of discovery. Like, no, actually, there is a lot to learn about taking a nap. There are different lengths of naps that you can take for different purposes. You can very actively decide a location or a strategy for positioning your body to take the optimal nap. You can even learn how to control the dreams that you have while you're napping. Hmm. So much to learn. So and it, much and to it's learn. fun. You make it fun. It's, it's cool. a great show for the whole family. Thank, Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate that. Thanks, David. All right. For more information about going deep with David Reese, go to kcal9.com and you can click Scene on TV.